The project is actually a, a historic building, it's a monument and parts of the windows had to be replaced because they were destroyed. We developed together with the client uh, a method where we said, okay, we print the negative form, the cast form, and we send the print to the um, fabricator and then the ready-made uh, single elements, the segments of this window would be uh, assembled on site. This first printcast project shows one possibility how 3D printing as a new form of digital fabrication can be utilized well for the construction industry. We always compare it almost like if you look at a dentist who is now using scanning technology and 3D printing to, to create like um, copies of your, of your teeth. This is exactly like implants in a traditional building where you basically can create, recreate elements that have been produced before and cannot be produced anymore in this way. We have uh, developed uh, a material that is water soluble and once you have poured in the concrete, you have created the form, you can afterwards wash out uh, this material and you create hollow structures within the concrete that is already solidified. You use in the end less concrete because the structure uh, is enabled through uh, a more complex geometry. And with this project, with the printcast, we see a clear possibility now for architects to have uh, a direct control on what you design in your computer and how you produce it on site. So you don't have to wait for a company to come up with an idea how to produce it. You can just rely on the 3D printing technology in order to create a one-to-one -one copy of your design in one-to-one -one scale. And then you're able to implement this in the real world.